In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to call a keyword test from within another test case. This is extremely useful because we're able to reuse pieces of test functionality instead of re-recording all of our actions. So if you have actions that happen in several of your test cases, like logging in and logging out, we can just reuse those. So today I'm going to set up my smoke test and you can see that my smoke test is currently blank. And instead of clicking the append to test button and recording all of the actions, I'm going to leverage my existing test cases. Now the first way that I can do that is using the run keyword test operation. And to find that, I can come into the operation search area, type in run keyword, and you can see that we have found our run keyword test operation. Now all I need to do is select that and drag it into my test items palette, and then test complete will allow me to select from any of my existing keyword tests. So I'll use the login test first. And you can see now instead of recording login, I have the login process already created. Now I can also just drag the item from my project explorer. So if after I log in I need to go to the admin screen, I can select this item, drag it in, and you can see now we have the go to admin test case. Now from within keyword tests, I can also call script functions that have been designed already. To do that, I will use the run script routine keyword. And you can see I've now found that, and I just drag it into my test palette, and here I have the ability to choose any of my existing script functions. So I'll use the generate username function. Now in similar fashion, I can come into my project explorer, select the script unit, and drag the entire script unit into my test case, and then test complete will allow me to select which test case I would like to run. And I'll use the select dropdown function. And now, I've created my smoke test without actually recording anything, I've just leveraged my existing keyword and script test cases. This could be an entire test case in and of itself, or this could just be a preparation test case, where I click the run test, and test complete will execute all of the steps to get my application prepared for further recordings. Now, I can also call keyword tests from within script tests. So to do that, I'm going to open up my script routine, and you can see that I have a number of functions. And what I'll do is I'm going to amend the select dropdown function to run a keyword test. And all I need to do is type in the keyword tests, and you can see that we're auto-completing for me. So I'll select the keyword tests item, and now I can select any of our existing keyword tests. So after I drop, select my dropdown, I will verify the data table. And the last thing I need to do is select run. And you can see now I have called my verify data table keyword test from within my script function. So that is calling a test case from within another one. Again, we have several great benefits from time savings to uh, helping us update our test cases when our application has evolved. Thank you for taking the time to view this video.